what's gravy in the Navy, little chickens, little babies? It's FaZe Banks. And I'm back with another question and answer video for you guys today. And let's talk about this for a second. Look at your screen. What the fuck did you guys do? Hashtag Ask Banks trending in the US. That's fucking crazy. You guys are absolutely nuts. I don't know how that happened. I did get a shitload of questions. So uh, that probably had something to do with it. Um, duh. But... No, that's awesome. Uh, way to go, guys. That's fucking cool. I don't know. I was just as surprised as all of you were. The kids tweeting at me telling me it was trending. Um, so, yeah. Let's just dive right into these questions, shall we? Uh, before I actually, before we do that, I wanted to say um, I tweeted out um, about this. I was just looking for questions about the move in with Tommy. I moved in with Phase Temper. For those of you who still don't know, you must be living under a rock or must not pay attention. I don't know what you're doing. But I'm moving in with Phase Temper. That's a thing. Um, I wanted questions about that. I wanted questions about the Phase Five Challenge, the Recruitment Challenge, Phase Recruitment Challenge. We did one last year. Google it. I don't know if you don't know what that is. I don't know how you got to this video. I don't know how you know my name. Um, and Fake, I was gonna say Fakey, and then I was gonna say Phase, and I was gonna say Phase Fakey, and I just fucked up all three of them. But Phase Fakey came to visit me and Tommy for a week. And it was a lot of fun, and I wanted questions about that too. So let's just get right into these. Uh, the gameplays are Black Ops 2 free for all gameplays. Um, I did pretty good in both of them. I think both of them. I think I'm gonna need two gameplays. If I don't, I don't know. There's gonna be gameplay on the screen for you guys. I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible, but as thoroughly as possible. I want I want this to be good. So yeah, I'm just gonna answer this question. I don't know how to like segue into this. So yeah, here's the question. Question number one: Does Tommy smell like fucking shit or nah? Um, I picked this question because I thought it was funny, obviously, but, um, on a serious note, I actually was truly concerned with what the house was going to smell like. Not because Tommy's a dirty kid or smells bad or anything, I've chilled with him, in, like, before all of this, but, um, like, I, I don't know if it's just me or whatever, but I swear to God, everybody has a stench, like, everybody has their own smell. Like, I feel like I'm a dog, like, I, I scent, like... I can just smell people, like, yo, I don't, I don't know, but, like, when you walk into somebody's house, like, it smells a certain way, it smells like them, I know some of you know what I'm talking about, like, please tell me I'm not crazy, but I was honestly concerned that this place was gonna smell like, like, something I didn't want it to smell like, like, not that some people smell bad or anything, but just some, some of the smells are just not pleasing, they just don't smell good to me, I don't know, some people smell good, some people smell normal, I don't know, but it smells good around here. We keep a clean house. So to answer your question, no, Tommy does not smell like shit. Oh, oh, excuse me. I just burped. I, I'm not cutting this. I can't do this over. Like, I'm, we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. We're just gonna roll with the punches. Question two. Was it awkward when you moved in with Tommy? And what did your parents think about it? I uh, know it wasn't awkward. Me and Tommy have known each other for a while. Tommy's a really chill, laid-back kid. Um, we gel well together. Everything's cool. Um, it was not awkward at all. It was actually, like, more... I don't know. I see. I don't know. I've known him for a while. It was honestly like moving in with one of my friends. Um, it was. It was straight. As for my parents, they're proud of me. They're happy that I'm um, doing well and that uh, I'm. I'm finding success with this whole YouTube thing. Obviously, you guys know this started out as a hobby for me, as it did with everybody else, and it just blossomed and grew and turned into this. And it's. I. I can't thank you guys enough for making that happen. I can't thank. Um, Everybody who's helped me get here, uh, that's a topic for a different video. But, yeah, my parents were proud of me, and they're uh, stoked. Uh, how? Next question. How is the new Phase 5 going to be different from the other one? Uh, there's a question about this that I'm going to answer part of the... Part of the part of this answer is going to be uh, directed at that question. But I will say this. I will say that the prize for this Phase 5 challenge is going to be much bigger and... Uh, just just all, all around better than uh, the last Phase 5. And for those of you guys who don't know, the last Phase 5, the winners um, got to join Phase. We picked five people who got to uh, join the team. So that's saying a lot. Um, you guys should be excited, and I honestly encourage every single person listening to this to just go for it. If you want to be on the team, if you think you can do it, if you think you got what it takes, um, do it up. Even if you don't, it gets you so much exposure. Like, you could hit a lucky, luck, like a luck streak. Um, people could like who you are. I don't know. It's it's honestly such a good thing, and um, I hope I hope more people take advantage of it this time around. A lot of people did it last time. Don't get me wrong, but I just hope um, 
we see just overall more more i just want this one to be a lot bigger um next question any pranks you guys did when at facebook he was there uh, you can see on the screen, I covered him in uh, shaving cream one of the first nights. I don't remember if it was the second, third, fourth night. I don't really remember. Other than that, we just fucked around, chilled. Uh, there wasn't really any pranking. Obviously, we fucked with each other and stuff, but it wasn't anything crazy. Um, he, like, woke me up and, like, jumped on me in bed and shit, like, to wake me up. Because I sleep late. <laughs> I'm, I'm a rat. And um, uh, But other than that, there wasn't really any pranking going on. Next question. Have you and Tommy ever fought? Uh, no, we haven't. Like I said before, Tommy's a really laid-back, chilled kid, um, chilled-out uh, individual, and um, he's definitely not confrontational whatsoever. He's just chilling, and uh, we have not fought. Next question. Will the Phase 5 Recruitment Challenge be multi-cod? Yes, it will. Um, right now, we're posting Black Ops 1 and up on Phase, so Black Ops 1, I'm going to be 3... Um, Black Ops 2 and Ghosts, I believe that's what falls under that. And, um, yeah, so Multicod, yes, to answer your question. I got a lot of questions like this, and, uh, hopefully you guys are excited about that. What have you enjoyed the most about moving in with Tommy, and what do you not like about it so far? Um, I'm gonna start off with what I do not like about it. <laughs> I hate, I, I just, I, I hate that, like, food doesn't appear in front of me anymore. I hate that I actually have to cook things and, like, clean, like, really clean. Like, there's a huge difference between picking up your room and, like, putting your shit away versus, like, cleaning a bathroom or, like, cleaning a stove. Like, I've ne I can honestly say I've never got on my hands and knees and, like, cleaned a bathroom floor until I moved in. And it's not a fun time, but it has to be done. And if you want to live in a clean environment and you want people to think you have nice things, you have to do shit like that. Um, so, yeah, it needs to be done, and I get it done. Uh, what I do like about it, for obvious reasons, are the freedom. I get to do whatever the fuck I want. Uh, friends are over all the time and stuff. Uh, girlfriend's over. I get to just do what I want when I want. Um, I mean, I had a lot of freedom uh, at my parents' house, too. Uh, but it's just like this is like my place now. It's cool. I can just have people here with I don't have to ask somebody I don't know it just it's I just feel a lot more free it, it's definitely a huge bonus to live here and to uh, to have moved out I it definitely I, I love it um, there are obviously some downsides but I l absolutely love it next question which card do you enjoy playing the most and why um Black Ops 2, as you can see on the screen, that's what I'm playing. Uh, I'm not too fond of Ghosts. But yeah, I enjoy watching Black Ops 2 and playing Black Ops 2 um, the most right now. Next question. How do you feel? How, oh, how have you felt homesick? Okay, have you felt homesick or not? If so, what helped you adjust? Um, I miss my dog a lot. Yeah, that's about it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I obviously miss my family. Uh, my grandparents and stuff live really close to my old house. But honestly, I live 25 minutes away. It's not like, it's not a huge stretch of like 20, 30 minutes away, some, something like that. And um, I can really see them whenever I want. Uh, like I said, all my friends from home and stuff are still, you know, they're still just right next door pretty much. And I, I, I don't really feel too homesick. Um, what has helped me adjust the the fact that it's that close has pretty much helped me. I obviously, if I lived across the country, if I moved that far away, I'd probably be a lot more homesick. But I, I'm still in the neighborhood, so it's not like it's nothing crazy. Next question: Is Tommy or you a sloppy roommate? Um, no. I've kind of touched on this question a little bit. Um, we keep a clean house. We're both well kept, uh, clean individuals, and um, thankfully so. I, I kind of lucked out on that. Um, but yeah, like we, we let, honestly, one of the first things I do when I wake up is make sure like everything's in its place like make sure just everything's clean. Cause I, it just makes, I don't know, living a lot easier when everything's just, just clean and tidy. I sound kind of like a herb, but, um, but yeah, that's, that's life. Next question. Will phase five have a top 20 montage like the old one? Um, it will absolutely have something similar to the top 20 montage. Um, I don't know if it's going to be exactly a top 20 montage. We haven't worked out the details for that yet. But um, that video is awesome, and we're definitely going to be putting out a ton of videos related to uh, the Phase 5 challenge. Um, and there will absolutely be some kind of um, 
video like the top 20 montage. How, how does it feel to be known and living with a knowner, and what do you and Tommy do other than COD? Um, I picked this question mainly for the second part. As for the known knowner thing, I don't see myself, you were probably just joking around, but I don't see myself as like famous or known or whatever. Um, it's pretty cool like to get stopped by people and like have them recognize you and have them like want to like take a picture with you or whatever like that kind of makes you feel like a little like famous I guess or whatever but for the most part I'm just a normal person um, and what do we do other than COD? Uh, we go to eat, chill with friends like I said honestly like just stuff that you'd imagine any normal person our age any normal kid doing it I, I don't know I, I can't think off the top of my head but we're just chilling um, yeah Next question. Uh, if there was one thing you could have done that you didn't do while Fakey was there, what would you have done? Uh, that's a great question. I wish we, I wish we made more videos. I wish uh, we did more like sh stuff. Like I wish we. Uh, yeah, hold on a second. I'm making a video. You're at. I wish we did more stuff. Um, I wish we got. That was Tommy knocking on my door. By the way, <laughs> sorry. Um, I wish we did more stuff along the lines of like going out. I, I don't know why this keeps popping in my head, but like the aquarium. Obviously, we wouldn't go to the aquarium. That's probably because I'm a fucking squid. Fucking aquarium on the brain. But something like that, like activities. I don't know. Like whatever. I wish we did like more stuff like that. We didn't really go into Boston and like we didn't get to show them the city and stuff, which I kind of regret. But um, we still had a great time. Next question. How many tries did it take for Phase Temper to nail the hat toss in the Phase App process video? Honestly, it took like two or three tries. Tommy and Fakey do that all the time. And um, it definitely didn't take more than like three or four tries. There's, they, they've done that before. And uh, I don't know why so many people got like thought it was crazy because they, they just do it a lot. And I've never tried doing it or anything. So they just make it look easy. But uh, yes, I don't know exactly the answer, but I'd say two or three. Uh, how is per the personality side of a player going to come into the Phase 5 recruitment challenge? That's a great question. Um, I wouldn't say like personality per se. I would say more like videos and just like content making abilities. Uh, we're looking for people who can produce all types of content. We, we're just looking for entertainers. Um, uh, previous uh, to this, we, we had only looked at clips and stuff. And we're looking to do more with Phase. We're looking to, you know, um, expand and stuff. And we're looking to get people who are more than just clips. We want to put a face to clips. We want we want people to uh, develop fan bases and make videos on their own channels. And it, that's just overall going to help improve the team a lot. Um, so definitely look, there's definitely, we don't know exactly yet, but that is definitely going to play into the recruitment challenge um, one way or another. And uh, yeah. And I think this is the final question. Um, are there any other people that plan to come over in the future? Uh, yes, I believe Apex and Gwit are coming over um, before or after PAX East. Um, and I talked to Rain as well, and he's down to uh, come chill with me and Tommy for a little while too. I don't know when exactly. Um, hit them up on Twitter. Hit us all up on Twitter if you want to see something like that. Comment. I don't know. I'm sure you guys would love to see that. I definitely want to meet Apex. He's my fucking boy. He's my closest friend in phase. And... Um, yeah, so definitely, definitely there are other people we plan to have over in the future. Assuming you're talking about, um, like, COD YouTube friends, of course, because obviously other people are going to be over here. But, uh, yeah, guys, again, thank you for um, trending on, thank you for getting Ask Banks trending um, in the U.S. That's fucking crazy. You guys are nuts. Um, thank you for all the support you guys have been showing me on my YouTube videos. I can't explain enough how, like, every day I wake up and I just want to make a YouTube video. I really want to start posting daily if that's at all possible. I'm not going to promise that, but if it can get there, that'd be awesome. Um, and honestly, the tweets, the comments, the support, the likes, that's what that's what keeps me going. So if you guys could, leave a like on the video. Um, it'd be awesome if we, get to, if we could get to like two or 3,000, um, share it on Twitter. Just keep showing me love. I absolutely love it. I fucking love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much. I'm blessed. <coughs> Truly, <coughs> truly am. As I say that, I get struck down dead. Imagine that. Imagine I just died. I'm blessed. Just fucking croak. But um, no, seriously, thank you guys so much. I love you all. Uh, comment, tweet me, hashtag AskBank. If you want to be featured in a future episode, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube. All that other cool stuff. Use code 
Apex One, Phase Five, Rain. Use whatever code you want. I fucking love you guys. Peace.